telecasting from a big building near the interstate above the lab where they make you pee into a bottle. This is the J-Core channel, the channel that cramps five minutes of great radio into one full year of broadcasting. Initiate video data in three, two, one. MJ, BJ. MJ and BJ, Tampa Bay's hot new morning show. Weekdays 5.30 to 9 a.m. on 93.3 FM. MJ and OJ. <laughs> Two Tampa DJs named MJ and BJ put OJ's mugshot on a billboard to promote their morning radio show. D33 FLZ. I only wanna be with you. Music for all people. 933 FLZ. Have you listened lately? Revolution is on 93.3 FLZ. <laughs> Lewis and Floor Wax all morning. Classic rock all the time. 103.5 The Fox. Why would Divine Brown be in Denver? Well, it has got to have something to do with Lewis and Floor Wax, of course. The morning team from the Fox, using Ms. Brown to help unveil a billboard. She was just thrilled to be here to help promote her new image. It's a good news, bad news day for Hugh Grant's hooker in the uh, take no prisoners world of advertising. Divine was a hit in Denver, but struck out in L.A. You have got the most luscious lips, Divine. Why, thank you. Continuing her street walk to success, Divine Brown made a paid appearance on a Denver radio show. Have you seen his girlfriend, Elizabeth Hurley? Yes. Not in person. I've seen her through magazines and everything. Very attractive lady. Yeah. She's all right. The working girl signed autographs, thanked the DJs, and unveiled a billboard immortalizing her arrest with Hugh Grant. The station known as The Fox has already used images of Bill Clinton, Fidel Castro, and even the Pope to boost its ratings. Vice President and General Manager Don Howe says he's aiming for the 25 to 49-year-old audience. It's a fun way to get their attention and, re and, and remind them to listen to the Fox. This billboard promoting a classic rock radio station in Denver has O.J. in bad company with mass murderer Charles Manson. O.J.'s lawyers have threatened to sue if the ads don't come down, but the band, Bad Company, defends the radio station's right to free speech. They are loving the free publicity, even if they don't like the company they keep in this ad. The whole thing is a bloody carousel of farce. If a radio station can't run up two or three billboards, which is slightly risque, tongue-in-cheek, play on words, I mean, then God what help, what, what is this country coming to? Today, Newt Gingrich and company took time to celebrate and take stock, as Bob Schieffer reports. And the Braves. I'll talk about politics for a couple of minutes. But Happy we Republicans follow. were so anxious to get the word out on the big win that they invited talk radio hosts to broadcast live from Speaker Gingrich's office balcony. Live from the porch of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, a normal American, Newt Gingrich. I'll get complaints from people who are, if you will, a bit to the left and who say we should have a liberal on once in a while to offset these conservative youth. In your country clubs and your little bars and Hyde Park and the Mount Lookout and down in Main Street as you're sucking up booze, pretending that you really own your freaking BMW. He calls Newt Gingrich a Nazi. In city council, a group of low IQ puppets. And that bugs you, And that's you, why man. you that say what bugs you say. You. And it bugs you because I got the mic, and well, you know, no, you piece me. of genetically disenfranchised white from. trash. This is Carmine. Hit the bricks. Let's go checking on OJ. Let's go checking on OJ. Let's go checking on OJ and see if he'll get fried. Where it is, OJ now wants to have his testimony videotaped so he can join Rosa Lopez in El Salvador. More later. Judge Gizzo's robes are provided by Judicial Wear. In its typical style, 700 WLW Radio is having lots of fun with the OJ trial. But then again, business is business. We sent OJ a shirt with an offer of a million dollars if he were to wear it during the closing arguments or you know, almost any point during the trial. WLW sent this letter to Simpson at the Men's Central Jail, and in it, OJ was told, and we're going to quote here, you'll have to prominently display the shirt, that means no jacket, and no other shirt, just the shirt. 
Let me see if I got this straight. Tyrone Hill, Brian Grant, Bob Pelkington, Steve Thomas, and Anthony Hicks all on the same team? In the real world, that never happened. But here's what it might have been like if it had. Thomas from 18, right side, no good. Hicks followed, and it's slammed through by Brian Grant. Rebounding by the Musketeers. Again, Tyrone Hill and Brian Grant are on the floor, along with Big Bob Pelkington. They're going to crash those boards. The score, Xavier 22, UC 19. We'll be back on 700 WLW. You see, the folks from the big one got together and decided to play the best of Xavier against the best of UC. They teamed up such muskies as Byron Larkin and Bob Quip and had them face the Nick Van Exels and Oscar Robertsons of UC. You've all seen WEVN's billboard campaign, and quite frankly, we at WEVN were shocked at the reaction. But I want you to know we're rethinking everything based on your input. The cards and letters indicated that we may have crossed the line, and I'm sure you'll notice some changes immediately. I've been in TV at least, at least 10 years now, and I thought I'd seen it all, of course, until... I met Eddie Fingers and Bob, the producer from WEBN Radio, yes. Elvis Presley. I'm kind of disappointed in the crowd tonight. Are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> what have that we is, done? That's, that's the king sliding on ice. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You look like my old man drunk at a wedding. <laughs> I want you to meet Bob Berry, who's here. Um, acting as our referee from Cincinnati. How you doing, Hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm a wacky, goofy, nutty, stupid DJ. I've had an on-air vasectomy. I've been a re remote from a nudist colony. I had a brief cameo, a nude cameo in Oak, Calcutta. Hey there, kid. Rock and roll with Robin, Bob, and Eddie on the Dawn Patrol. The Dawn Patrol. The Dawn Patrol. Robin's in the kitchen getting ready for the day, and Eddie starts the morning his favorite way. The Dawn Patrol. The Dawn Patrol. Bob joins the party. It's wholesome and it's fun with the quality and decency that's kept them number one. The Dawn Patrol. The Dawn Patrol. You can hug them, you can squeeze them, you can change their clothes, and then you can wash them down with a garden hose. The Dawn Patrol. The Dawn Patrol. The WEBN Dawn Patrol comes with everything you see here. Wild Man Walker sold separately. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's hit it! Let's do it! Presenting the 1995 Toyota WEBN Fireworks! Continuous hit music, 102.7, KISS FM. Hey! 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 102.7, KISS FM. Move to it. Continuous hit music, 102.7, KISS FM. Good time. Good time. 102.7, KISS FM. Move to it. <laughs> 